Hi guys, I'm back with another video for you. Today I want to talk to you about, I've done a video on land already, but this is a kind of a little bit different, okay? So I have noticed a trend over the years. Um, sometimes I get contacted by people and they want to know about lands that I have for sale. And <laughs> I'm taking a deep breath here because I'm choosing my words carefully. Okay, so people contact me and my husband as well about um, any land that we know um, for sale and the price and all the rest of it, which is fine, great stuff. But one thing I have noticed is that when people ask for land and you give them the price, they're not happy because they feel that the land in Ghana should be incredibly cheap. Now, don't get me wrong here. There is land in Ghana which is dirt cheap, like like you could the kind of money that you could probably drop on the floor and not realize that you've dropped it and never think about it again like you can get land for very very cheap in places in ghana but the problem that you have is it will be in a bush somewhere and that's the thing you need to think about so when it comes to buying land for a property that you yourself want to live in you have to think very carefully so it's not so when someone gives you the price of a piece of land i'm not just talking about for myself for anywhere that you go if someone gives you the price for a piece of land Think about it in the long term. Don't think that, okay, well, actually, um, in, you know, some, some place, some far place somewhere, the land is 10,000 cities cheaper. It may well be 10,000 cities cheaper, but you have to think, is that where you actually want to live? Because one thing I've noticed is that with cheap lands comes other issues. I'm not even talking about litigation issues. I'm talking about the kind of, maybe the kind of people that you want to live around. If you want to live in that kind of um what's the word that i'm looking for um like you want to kind of be off grid and you don't really want um you want to be like far out you don't really want to be in like central accra you don't really want the hustle and bustle and all that stuff you want to be far and you want that that's fine and i'm not i'm not like saying this to diss those kind of areas because if that's what you want that's fine but if that's not what you're looking for and you're only doing it because of the cost of the land it is pointless because what will happen is if you buy a piece of land that is very cheap it means that Anybody can buy that piece of land, literally anybody, and they can build whatever they want. So if you're happy to have a piece of land and you are um, building your really nice fancy house on this piece of land and next door to you, someone comes and sets up a container shop selling, I don't know, Kenke or whatever it is, you shouldn't be upset because it's fair game, basically. You're going to get what you're going to pay for, okay? So... When someone gives you the price of land, don't think in the short term and think to yourself, oh, it's too expensive, I can get two plots for that price and blah, 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 blah. Think about your long term because one thing about Ghana is once you buy a piece of land and you build your house on it, it's not very easy to then say, okay, well, next year I'm going to sell it and we're going to move to another area. It doesn't really work like that here as it does um, in some of the more developed countries. America, UK, you know, if you decide that you don't like this house after six months, you can choose to put it on the market. If you're lucky, within a couple of weeks, you can have a buyer for it. In Ghana, it's a lot harder to get a buyer. So you have to make sure you do things right from the very onset. Okay, So you don't want to make that simple mistake of having bought a piece of land in an area that you don't like. I mean, even we've done it. We've bought, I mean, it was, an, don't get me wrong. The area that we bought was nice, but the land that we bought, it wasn't necessarily where we wanted to live after all because the place is not developed yet. And it will probably take another maybe 10 15 years before that area gets developed that means doesn't mean that it won't be developed it just means are you ready to live in an area if you're what if you are living okay did you understand that yeah okay so i'll start again <laughs> if you want to live in and if you want to move back to ghana and you want to do it in say um two to even five years time you want to buy your land in an area where developing is happening people are already building okay you can see progress happening okay if you buy in a piece of land where your next door neighbors are just snakes believe me it will probably be like that for another 10 15 20 years can you handle that if you can handle that then more power to you no problem but if you know that you can't handle that that is not the land for you regardless of the price um, it just doesn't it doesn't matter so before you buy a piece of land look at what is happening in the general area around you look for development are things happening you know who else is bought in that area you know you have to look at those things they're very 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 important so that you don't make a mistake because that is ground one number one first things first your land if you get that wrong you're going to end up 
you, if you're lucky enough, you might get someone to buy it off you. Um, or you may find that it just becomes a waste of space. You end up leaving it and you end up buying land somewhere else. So don't look at the price of land and think, oh, oh, this one's cheaper. It doesn't work like that here. You've got to buy what is going to be suitable for your needs. So look at the surrounding areas. Look at the drive to where the land is, what it's like. Um, another good tip for buying land is when you're going to buy a piece of land, always go on a day when it's raining, okay? Because when it rains in Ghana, all hell breaks loose, okay? If you're on a road that you don't have, maybe you don't have tarmac, you don't have latrite on the ground, you don't have anything but mud. When it rains, trust me, there may be days where you may not even be able to get to the entrance of your gate because of the way that the road is and stuff like that. You don't want that to happen to you. So you have to look at all those things. There's a lot to consider. Don't just say, oh, because some, so-and-so says that, oh, this is a really good area. Look at, look at things properly, take your time, and really get to learn the area before you decide to put your money on the table, basically, okay? But like I say, if you like those kind of rural areas and you don't mind not having internet and whatever else, then be my guest, go for it. It's not a diss to those areas. Some people, everybody likes different things, but I'm just saying that sometimes price should not be your factor when it comes to buying um, land. Think of it in the long term. Think of, you know, um, you know, safety. Think of, just, you know, think, think a bit more than the price, okay? Because one thing about Ghana is prices go up. So today, what you might think is expensive, when you go back and look later on, you think, oh my gosh, I should have bought. Because we had that issue. We had an opportunity to buy some land in East Lake on Hills. This must have been about 12 years ago, maybe even more than that now. And we didn't buy. At the time, the land was going for about 30,000 cities. And we thought, oh no, it's too much because we wanted two plots. And we thought, no, no, we could probably get something a little bit, a little bit cheaper than that. When we came back about five years later, the land had turned from cities into dollars. Now we didn't have a choice. We could no longer afford to buy where we thought that we originally wanted to buy because we thought that 30,000 cities at the time was too expensive. And within just a few years, that the price of the land just went up that whole area like it'll be hard to touch now um most of that land anyway has been bought up so you'd be you'd be very lucky to get a piece of land there. but anyway i'm rambling now so basically that's what i want to say so if you're thinking about coming back to ghana and you're thinking about um purchasing a piece of land and you want to build a house think a little bit more outside the price of the land because that becomes irrelevant later on because you know, if you've got um, some nightmare neighbor next door to you, oh, well, thank God I saved 10,000 cities on the land. No one in their right mind is going to think that way unless there's something wrong with you, okay? No one's going to think that. In case those things, are, those things are minor, it's better to get a good piece of land that you're going to be happy with, really happy with, and know that you're settled and everything is fine, okay? Um, and for those of you that have been asking, we do actually have um, some land for sale if you're interested in um, the OEB area, you can contact me, message me, whatever, I can let you know about the details of that. Um, yeah, um, I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, do drop them in the comments below. And notice today I am doing my video inside, so no mosquitoes, okay? Um, yeah, and that's it. So guys, let me know what you think. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, do subscribe because I am hoping to do a whole series on building um mistakes that people make things to avoid that kind of thing so do if you haven't subscribed do subscribe and that's it until next time guys